you're actually looking for is double the volume displacement. Now, all the details that we need in the specifications so that we can figure out what the volume displacement is. There's two of them that we really need to pay attention to. One is the SD and the other is the X max. We want to multiply these numbers together. That's going to give us our volume displacement. So in this particular case, we take 506.7 and we're going to multiply that by 1.43 because we're just changing, converting the millimeters of 14.3 to centimeters. And we have a total of 724. That's the volume that we need displaced. Now for the passive radiator typically to work well, we're going to want twice that. So we're going to multiply that by two and we're looking for a passive radiator that has a volume displacement of 1449 or bigger. 